Preservation by freeze drying has been studied as an alternative method as it can be used to store biological materials for a prolonged period in a refrigerator which has 4 degrees Celsius or even at ambient temperatures. Liquid nitrogen is normally used for cryopreservation of spermatozoa and other cell types. And although it is indispensable for long-term preservation of samples, the need for a continuous supply of liquid nitrogen and mechanical maintenance of the equipment used for sample storage are disadvantages. In recent studies, mouse and rat spermatozoa were preserved for 3 to 5 years at 4 degrees Celsius after freeze-drying in a simple solution containing 10 mm trees buffer and 1 mm ethylene diamine tetraacetic acid. Moreover, animal generations derived from all sites fertilized with freeze-dried spermatozoa have been shown to be healthy with normal life expectancy and reproductive potential. With developments in dry state preservation such as freeze-drying and evaporation, liquid nitrogen is no longer required. As such, the concept of gamete preservation must evolve and future innovations in dry state oocyte and embryo preservation will further establish their efficacy. And that is what you need to know about sperm preservation.